Good morning. How are you doing? <sighs> Saturday morning. Trying to figure out what the day is going to bring. What I'm going to do. Sonoran Desert. Beautiful. I can be here for at least another 10 days or so. And I got enough supplies if I want to to actually accomplish that. I just. I'm chilling for the moment. There's a new moon on the 17th, or full moon, sorry. So I'm excited to see what that's going to look like. Maybe even do a painting by the full moon. That'd be kind of neat. I wanted to talk about. I did an earlier video when I said no man or no woman or no non binary, non gender specific, you know, entity is an island. What I, and what I mean by that, and I'm sure what they mean by that, is you can't, you know, you can't run off into the woods and just live on a mountaintop. You have to interact. You have to, we are social creatures by nature. For us to isolate ourselves in such a way, it's just, it's not healthy. You know, you need hugs. You need, you know, smiles from other humans. It's just, you need that warm interaction. I mean, it's, unfortunately, not every interaction is warm and fuzzy, but that's important. And I realized that, and it's like, in my running, <laughs> even before that, when I was always thinking about, you know, if you had to grab a bag and just run for the hills, you know, because I grew up in the 80s as a teenager, and if you know anything about the 80s, it was all about the apocalypse, it was all about World War Three and Russia, the Soviet Union, the, the United Soviet Socialist Republic, or whatever, you know. So we had that threat going on. So every, you know, it was just really bizarre. It was a bizarre time to be a teenager because you just, you had MTV, you had this just cultural, just explosion of like colors and sounds, and, and then on top of that, you had the threat of you know getting blown to shit, which was always fun. So, but you know, and in my, it was almost like everything was like Terminator when you see the explosions in the city, and you're like shit. Now you got to go back to scratch, and it's all going to be Road Warrior shit. And in my mind, a lot of times it was like you just, and I thought about that, and it was like I play out the scenarios in my mind. Like, you know, I do the tracking and I do my mental projections and stuff like that. But, and I do the tracking of that, and it's like it, it's never a good scenario because it's always going to be rough and difficult and dirty. And, you know, if you don't have cooperation, man, that's what makes civilization possible, babe. So when you have just people road warrior in it and just everything's about me and low vibrations, just, yeah, that's just a shit show. Nobody wants that. So. And unfortunately, right now, the way the the ruling class are playing it, it the funny part is, well, I don't want to get into politics too much, but, but I did study it in college. It was part of my journalism. Yeah, I took political science, and it was fun. But the point is, is that the rebels, the people that were always bitching about the causes and all that stuff, they're in charge now. You know what I mean? So they're, if they're not going to invoke the changes that they were bitching about before, then they're just bullshit. Because basically, it's just like it's like... You can't be the one, bit, like being the protester. Oh, I want a better world, and then you get the you get the power to do stuff, and then all you do is enslave everybody. It's like mm, that's not what it's all about. I'm sure that's not what the '60s protesters were talking about. Talking about freedom, and you know, don't tread on me. Don't you know? You know, my body, my choice. All these fun, you know, slogans. But it's all about freedom. It's not about oppression. It's not about fear. It's about you know. They were all about love. I, you know, I, I was product of the 60s. I was actually conceived in 69. I was born in May 70, so do the math, right? But 69, 70 or 68, with the summer of love, whatever that was, people were talking about beautiful things, you know, talking about togetherness and the age of Aquarius, and, and that shit just went to, this, to the curb quick, hard, right? So just because, you know, the people in charge now are the same ones that were supposed to be the radicals wanting to change the world. And it, when you won't, you can't change the world by being enslaving it, you know, and, and pumping fear porn every day on the, on the news. You know what I mean? Here's the thing. And I will say something about um, the caveman comments. And that lady was talking about the astral projection. Um, as far as like the caveman vibration, how they lived. And this is how the cavemen lived, right here. Looking, you're looking at it. Looking at an empty desert, very quiet. And you just get search for like an animal. You search for what you need for the day. You get warmth. You get food, and you sleep. And then the next day, it's the it's the 
it's an endless battle, but it's like a rhythm. It's a it's a routine, but it's very natural. It's a natural routine. It's not like sitting in front of a screen, just getting loaded down with all this negative bullshit, or just overloaded with consumerism crap. Because if you're not a good consumer, you're not a good citizen, apparently. And I'm not a good consumer, trust me. I'm like, I'm minimalist, as, I'm like Spartan as hell. This is caveman lifestyle right here, right? How much do you need to survive? A can of chicken and a can of beans maybe and some peaches a day, I don't know. Some water, you need some vitamins. I mean, you know, conversations. And like I said, you can't be an island. You have to go out there and interact. I'm gonna be here for a minute. I'm not sure how much longer, but it's, at the same time I still have to do my oil change, and I'm no hurry to do that. Like I said, I, I'm, I, I'm not really, I don't like talking about my personal issues and things, but all I can say is I'm getting old, and, and you know, yeah, I'm not going to be here forever. You know, I'm starting to feel it. <laughs> Sorry, my body's just like, there, there's, yeah. The worst part about now is going to a doctor. I refuse to go even near a hospital. It's like, it's like pl the plague. Because it's like everybody, everybody goes to the hospital ends up with COVID. Oh, you, guess what? You just t tested for COVID 14 days. Can, it's like, dude, I don't want to go nowhere near humans. Then they'll say, ah, you've been around other people. You know, it's like scary just to imagine being, and here's, here's the weird part. I was in McDonald's in Quartzsite, and I was like, imagine if there was like a weird outbreak of some bullshit fucking strain that they're talking about in that McDonald's, and you paid for it with the credit card. And so they can track everybody that was in that McDonald's and they're going to hunt you down. They're going to try to find you and then quarantine you. It's just like, that's the vibe that you I feel. And that's the vibe that, that they're sending out to the world right now with their totalitarian bullshit. With all this is going on, I don't even know if this is even going to get... Because YouTube's going to squirrely. I love you, YouTube. I don't love YouTube. But anyway. <laughs> so yeah, technology's getting weird. They're just like, everybody just getting dropped and censored and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh my God. So I don't even know if my stuff's going to get out. But like I said, you, the the key in my job, besides just rambling and videos and talking to you and loving you, is to put out love. Is to let you love yourself. Self-love, That's that's that must be like kryptonite to the evil empire. You know what I mean? Having people believe in themselves enough to where they're not going to believe the bullshit from some asshole on the television. Like that hobbit, um, Stenop, St what's that, George Stepanopoulos, whatever that guy horrible humans yeah those people are horrible don't listen to their liars they're all they get paid they're all millionaires they're all rich and they lie and that's what they do for a living don't believe anything they say god bless believe yourself trust your own instincts trust you know god in the universe that they want the best for you they don't want to enslave you they don't want you to be unhappy and miserable and scared only these pricks do so we need to live in love and we need to live in light and think positive. I know it's hard sometimes, but you got it's almost like you got to wake up. It's like an exercise. People don't want to go out and run. Nobody wants to go for a run if they don't have to. Do all these weightlifting and shit. I don't. Hell no. But they do it every day. People go out for a jog every day. So just do some positive meditating, positive thinking. Think of things that made you happy in the past. Comedy shows. You know, people, you know, just being in a, you know, a situation with somebody that made you happy and you, you missed that moment you know what i mean that kind of thing anything that makes you happy your world happy makes you happy makes you feel positive just it's like generating it's like a that internal crank you're generating positivity that's what you want and i'm rambling but i love you and i'm concerned i'm not out here in the desert but i still concerned for my people i love you guys i want everybody to be happy i mean i'm still I'm I'm going to be happy with nothing. I'm sitting here in my bliss just, you know, I'm not perfect. And, you know, I, trust me, being alone is not, it's not the, the greatest thing ever. It's nice. I like it. And I'm sure everybody listens is like, dude, I wish I could be alone for like top five minutes. And if you got kids, God bless you. I love you. Poor things. Because, you know, you got responsibilities. You can't just run off to the desert and sit on your ass. You can't. You have responsibilities. And that's just. And you got to tend to those. So, but at the same time, focus on the positive. You focus on, the, you know, do your part. Be in that positivity generator and get it out there. And, you know, I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just like, yay, you can do it. Uh, it's like a half-ass affirmation, right? Anyway, I love you.
and God loves you and the universe loves you and I want you to have a wonderful day and hope you have a wonderful weekend. It's Martin Luther King weekend and yeah, good guy. He had a dream that we could all just live together and that dream just got shot to shit but we're hoping, we're hoping that's going to keep working out. You just got to get these angry fuckers out of the way. All these angry, bitter people that are just hateful and no hate, just love. Just focus on the love and then we'll be good. Anyway, let's go.